I think we're streaming live on YouTube. You want to check? Hi, everyone. We're just checking to see if we're streaming live on YouTube. Adam's checking now. Welcome, welcome. We are at World Drift and Lake Worth. Um, let's just make sure we are streaming. If you are over on YouTube, in order to participate in the live bidding, you must join. Um, what not. We do have a link for $15 offer for first timers once you sign up. In any one of our description videos, uh, boxes, oh, we are streaming. No, you're not. We're not waiting no. for Jolie Flips Vintage. Let's see how we can fix that. It says we are casting to YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, okay. Here we go. Oh, it's starting. Yeah. So we are World Thrift. Kind of hot in here today. <laughs> Basically, how this works is if you see something, just say something. Um, I usually two or three or four X, depending on what it is. If it's a high value item, I will name a price. Um, we cannot shift really ship it really heavy things. Um, okay, but we'll try our best. If it's in a box, we generally like to. Yeah, which far? This one is probably new. I haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> Something like that. My mother had a whole bunch of these. I think they're um, they're decanter tops. Yeah, so if you see anything, just shout it out and I'll let you know what, you know, right now we're just looking at a lot of florist pieces. The only thing that looks of value here to me is this. That looks hand-blown. Beautiful. Almost reminds me of Pilgrim Glass. This is gorgeous. It is three. It would run for nine if anyone is interested. The Delft A. Do you see a Delft? Delft? Um, the Bell? The bell is Delph Genie. Looking for Delph and yellow juice glasses. Oh, okay, so we'll come up to the juice glasses in a moment. This one is Delph, so if you want me to pop this in the cart, let me know. It's a small little bell. That's the only Delph piece I see here. This one's kind of cute, too. It's an Alaska. You have this piece? Okay, great. So everything here, so the only thing I see that looks of value is, like I said, the pilgrim, pilgrim looking glass and this face. That looks um, hand painted and kind of bold. So if that's something you're interested in. Um, there's this, looks like it might have been a ginger jar at one point. I don't think that's that old, but that would run for 24, so. I don't know about that. It's not worth eight dollars what they're they're asking for anyway. All right, so there are precious moments here. I generally just walk right past the precious moments, <laughs> but if it's something, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Genie, this is a very high price store. Uh, if you guys are new here, I know the prices are a little crazy because um, it is West Palm Beach. It's not really. It's Lake Lake Worth. The other piece that I think I see here that looks of value. This might be, it's like Favreau looking glass. It is signed 1993. It's hand blown. Yeah, and I, I triple, if it's glass, I triple it. It's just not worth my time to ship things that are heavy. Yes, I have to. Because the shipping costs are going up, especially with bubble wrap. So I try not to, generally I try, I try to stick with the small things. This is Delft though. Yeah, is it? Oh, look at that. This is new, I didn't see this here. That's really cute. Three, that would just run for nine. If you're interested, I think it's cute though. I'm gonna pick it up, Jeannie. <laughs> I never seen one like that one. It almost feels like Royal Copenhagen, like the feeling of it. I'm gonna pick this up because I think that might be something it's signed. Um, okay, this is cool. But no match, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is a nice little cobalt blue. Cobalt blue just doesn't sell well for me. So I won't leave that. Um, we do have a YouTube video coming out soon. If anybody uh, is wanting one, <laughs> I'm just finishing editing it. editing it. Oh, that's real cute. That's a pottery trinket dish. This would run for only five. Anyone's interested in that? I'm going to grab it. Adam likes all of the modern stuff. 
thank you guys for joining. Please subscribe to our channel, Jolie Flips Vintage. We show you what to thrift for profit. Uh, this is kind of nice, y'all. Look at the glaze on that. $3. That is awesome. This would ship for, I would run this one for 10 if anyone is interested in that. I'm going to grab it. I like pottery. Grab that. Lots of precious moments. So if anybody likes that, let me know. There's bunnies up here. They still have them out for me, sir. Um, yeah, that's that paper vase, you know. Some people love those. Um, see, let me, I'm, if you see me stopping and not moving, it's because there's, there's like a lot of people in front of me. Um, yeah, precious moments. <laughs> I don't like precious moments. They made so, so many. This little picture is real cute. Oh, look at that. S for, S for me. Wow, that's very high price. The color of the day is red. 75% off. Oh, I'm sorry. 50% off of red. What is he? He looks like he would have been an angel or something. Riding. She almost like cut off her kid's legs. So this, <laughs> this is a bride and groom one. For 10, this would run for 25. Then there's this one. I don't know why it's expensive. This one's 10, it would run for 25. Um, let's see. And then this one looks like she's consoling it. They price, just so you know, they price the, the precious moments very high here. I, I don't think they understand that it's not a, a, that much of a value. So, planner, if you want those, I can do whichever one if you want to do both i can do um both for 40 that would probably give you you know i don't think there's any chips or cracks but if you don't want it just say pass and i'll just keep moving pass okay sorry that they priced it so i don't know what's wrong with them um let's see oh look at that pottery that looks like oh dirty inside oh there's a train there's a drain hole oh i thought it was like a bill campbell or something but still very nice, so it's modern. Look at these glasses. Hello. Okay, wait a minute. I know there's only three, but I'm really digging them. These are cool. I'm gonna pick them up. If y'all like them, let me know. Probably do an unboxing at some point. Um, oh, look at this one. Whoa, that's really pretty. Terracotta. If you like clowns, they got them. The porcelain and Lennox, the price are really high here. Um, nothing down there worth worth anything that I see. Here's a cold painted um, clown. I'm not really into clowns, but if you are, let me know. I will definitely show it to you. Oh, check him out. He's a cool rooster, actually. He's really awesome with multi-tone. Oh, wow. Look at him. <laughs> Makes me want cornflakes. Yeah. I would run this one for nine if anyone is interested. I don't think there's a whole lot of value in it, but he is really beautiful. I'll we'll grab him. Anyone changes his mind? Changes your mind? I like mixed metals, and I like mixed wood. Um, what about down here? Lots of figurines. She's real cute. Aw. There's that pig. He's a box. That's creepy. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Wow. How is this not chipped? Oh, it is. The flower's chipped. I was like, there's no way that's not shipped. <laughs> $8. But that's crazy. Um, oops. We're running into a collision course. Here, there's a, if you're into wood, like I am, here's a candle holder. It's really beautiful. Looks like a barbell. Hmm. I'm just going to wait till someone gets out of the way here. A cute little bud base. All right. I will switch slots in a minute with someone. 
Huh? Um, milk glass, they've got. We'll go to the ju the juice glasses in a moment. It's on the it's a, when I go around the corner. You want to switch spots? <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's a nun. I don't. She's not a nun. She's like a pilgrim woman. I think she's a project piece. She would run for eight. If anyone's interested in her? Here's a Hummel. Look at the price. <laughs> I would run that for 30. Um, yeah, just a lot of like kind of modern pieces right here. Nothing serious. Oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, look at that giraffe head. I guess he's a shelf. Oh, it's uh, Telly M. Stein. He hey, Max. That would run for 16. Oh, I really just want to get through. I have to wait a second. I have to wait. It's Saturday. It's crazy over here. There is another Holland Delft piece coming up, but it's a shoe. If anyone... I think it's a Holland piece. Yeah. Are you interested in this? This would run for um, nine. I would just double that one. There's some crazing on it. You might have that piece. Um, let's see. Take. All right, so if you see anything in the figurines, let me know. It's resin, probably. She's so cute. Looks like the Snuggies bear. Yeah. Snuggles? Snuggles. <laughs> oh, she's cute. I have one of her, though, already. Oh, don't forget about me. <laughs> Snuggles. Does he smell like Snuggles? <laughs> um, bunch of these little figurines. Um... Look at this. I saw this the other day and I'm really tempted to buy it because of the ears, but I just, it's a music box. <laughs> but I like the way like the hands are forming a little heart. But look at the ears at them. <laughs> but I know that won't sell fast though. So I'm a fast seller. I want to sell fast, but I wanted to get it to quality homes too. Look, that's really cute. Um, I don't mean on whatnot, but I mean like on my platforms, on my website. I don't, I, if I, if I, um, keep things in the house, I don't have room. <laughs> I don't have room to buy more stuff. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I was like, wow, that's green glass. That is green glass. It's a party light. And here's some more Delft blue. Somebody's asking me for Delft. No, that's a Portugal, but I think that the shoes inside are Delft. Yeah. It's a very pretty plate. That's really pretty. Uh, Samantha, stop doing porcelain. Look at this. This looks like crystalline or some kind of drip, please. Oh, I love that. Five ninety nine. That is great. Let us grab it. Adam, look at this. Jackie's butts. Let's bring that to our neighbor, Jackie. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Right. She smokes like a chimney. Do you mind? Can I go forward? Here is a very awesome sugared dog for six. This would run for 18 if anyone is interested in the dog. Um, this is actually a really cool find. Um, probably worth more than 18 He's got something coming out of his butt. We're definitely going to grab him. Okay, I know he's a little... He's a little, little price, pricey. All right, and here is a pretty cross. It's probably from the dollar store. <laughs> probably. Those cats are cool. They have some broken pedals, but not severe. That feels like Chinese porcelain, though. Very thick. Um, but still pretty. What 
else. Welcome in, y'all. I see ya. There's some clear stuff. If you're looking for any particular clear stuff, let me know. This is really funny. It took me forever to figure it out, but it's <laughs> cat fish. <laughs> oh. They still want a law for it. It's been sitting here for a while because nobody wants to pay that much money. Did somebody just like merge them together yeah. or something? That would run for 45 that's double plus shipping supplies the five because i really think that's chinese i don't think that's anything special the elephants are cool uh lots of clear items let's see if i can adam you want to wait here with the cart and then yeah. so i can try to squeeze my way in somebody did like cathedrals if this is something you're looking for and you're in here let me know there's three of them here they would run 15 the whole set whole set um, this I thought was really cool too. It's glass and you just kind of hang it, um, you know, by the window. And I didn't pick it up last time. And now I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I can't look at that. I got here too late. It broke. Oh, I, could, I didn't rescue it. I didn't rescue it fast enough. Potassium chloride. <laughs> this is a very interesting piece. This is actually the top of a decanter. I did look it up. That's really cool. Um, some glass fruit. Nicely polished. Look at this owl. See something? A lot of money for an owl. Even for, even just like for us here, not even adding anything. Look at this little. I love that blue. Oh, it's chip. Oh, no, it's not chip. That's just the mold line. That's pretty. That would run for just six if anyone's interested in that. I don't think that's anything super special. Is that a Wheaton bottle? No. I did find a whole bunch of Wheaton bottles here the other day. I thought maybe that was part of it. Oh, some stuff came out of here. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's enamel. Feels like cast aluminum. All right, I'm gonna keep going here because sometimes you find fairy lamps. I did not scan it before I came in, so this is actually the first time I come in here and it's and I haven't looked anywhere yet, grabbing stuff off carts and stuff for you guys before I come online. Um, this is my first time walking in with you guys, so all right, so let's go over to the glasses. There doesn't seem to be anything else here for us. There's a little dog. Hollow. Here's a Santa made in Sweden. It's kind of cool. All right. I'm going to turn slowly so I don't get you dizzy. We're going to head over. I'm going to have to block that area because um, there's no fitting rooms here. And people literally strip down right here in the corner. So I'll put the camera like this for privacy reasons. Uh, let's see if I can get through. Collision. Sorry, give me one second. Excuse me. Thank you. It's okay, I don't mind. It's just some people like they're going and then they stop. <laughs> it's like keep going. Thank you. Sorry, I don't mean to act that way. It's just they really just stop in the middle of everyone trying to get through. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, somebody's got nice stuff in their cart. <gasps> Guys, check this out. Oh, my God. Oh, they want $24 for it. Oh, it's a Villaroy and Bach. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Wow, that's like antique mall prices. Does anybody like these head mugs? I don't. <laughs> Maybe you want them, though. Okay, let's just get out of their way. Um, I know there was a lady that used to like like the Wexford pattern. There's some of them. There's this canister and this one. I don't know if that's considered Wexford. No, it's not. It doesn't have like a pattern pattern. Here's some mugs. If you're looking for mom mugs for May, I can look for that. Um... These are Franciscan, maybe. Or maybe. Let's see. 
Yeah, he's a Franciscan. I think they want too much for all that. Okay. So we're looking for yellow fruit juice glasses. Um, I don't actually see any. Ah. Oh, thanks, Victoria. Oh, so sweet. Share for sharing the live. Oh, this is cool. It's a Switzerland handmade something something. That's neat. That's cool. Pottery. Oh, watch out. Wait, 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 wait. Gosh. Okay. This is a nice bowl. Fits and Floyd. Okay. All right. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the mug section. Sorry, ma'am. Can I get through here? Thanks. All right. Um, I don't see any yellow glasses, my friend. Um, there's these that are kind of like leopard print. Somewhat of a yellow tint. They look Chinese, to be honest. They're very lightweight. These are cool. I've sold these before. I forgot what they're called. This one's really chipped, but I forgot what it's called. That pattern. I don't see any uranium pieces either. Oh, this is cool. This is some kind of mug. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. That would just run for five. Rachel's bridesmaid. This is oddly specific. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, really specific things. Well, here's some avocado green glasses, but is that Hebrew? Maybe Hebrew. All right, guys, let's go to the exciting part. Not a whole lot today, surprisingly, for a Saturday. They usually have a lot of really cool stuff. Um, but I promised you I would try to sign on every time I come to World Thrift for y'all. So here I am. Hmm. Here's, is this considered wax for pattern? I'm just like learning. <laughs> this is pretty. Hmm. I guess the, for, for me, I stay away from the clears unless it's like Waterford because Waterford's selling now. And if it's a collectible Waterford. Made in France. Is that fire and light by chance? No. No. Oh, this is nice. Is that my black light with it? Oh, look at this. Well, that's a good pickup. So I'm going to buy that for resale. Hopefully we find the... Um, um, is it just worn on purpose? That's a Michael Aram. So a piece like that would sell for about 100 So. Uh, it's not all about thrifting live and you guys buying. I'm also telling you what you can flip if you see it. Um, that's the point of our YouTube channel as well. So if you see Michael Aram, and he usually has this metal sign in the back, you want to pick that up. So, hi Donatella. Yeah, oh my gosh, are you really? I did not know that. I like watch you and had no idea. Guys, please follow Donatella. I love this store. It's just lately their prices have been super high. I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm gonna go check out the book, okay? Adam's gonna go check out the book. Are you really? You should come meet me. <laughs> I'll be here for a while. No, Adam can go check out the books. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been here. Yeah. This is kind of like atomic starbursty. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I'll leave it. This candlestick is really gorgeous. There's only one. Yeah, so. I mean, it's a good store. It's just, like I said, their prices are going up. So I don't know if it's infl inflation. Everything's inflation. Oh, look at this one. That's a nice candy dish. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Totally. And, and you come like every day. Like I try to come almost every day. Um, I live in Fort Lauderdale, like the Gulf Ocean, the, like the beach area. 
and it takes me it's 40 miles to get here oops but i love it look at this is that monogram <laughs> that's cool oh is it that's the problem it's under new management oh that's probably the issue i like this but it's monogrammed and i don't know that makes a lot of sense well i'm gonna have to march over to management <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen, and I would like to, <laughs> just kidding, <sighs> I'd like to speak to the manager. But they're just clueless. They're just looking up items and saying that that's what it should be priced at. I picked this up, but it has a big chip there. Got a cloche. Is this it? There's several cloches. Hi, Viviana. How are you? Vivian. Hello. Oh, hi, hi, how are you? Hi, nice to see you. It's okay. Si, mucho gente. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's saying, thank God, tomorrow she's off. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. This one? Maybe it's this one. There, um, there's a lot of bubbles in it, and it's not controlled. So if this is what you're referring to, that looks like a cloche. Um, this looks like Chinese. Um, really rushed. Clear to the right. This one? Or there's that one. Or I thrifted. Some fairy lamps. I mean, these are technically fairy lamps. This one, probably. Yeah. That's a. It's very lightweight. Got a crooked top. Is that the one? Not bad. Thinking. I'm thinking that's probably it. Yeah. I would just run that for five if you want it, if you need it. Sometimes we need specific things. Um, when they start realizing that their inventory is not moving, they will go to, you know, I've been saying that for a long time, but I think, oh, okay, no problem for it. You know, Victoria, and the, the problem is, I think, I don't know what they're doing with their items, but they don't ever seem to be, like a lot of stuff on the shelf. So I don't know if they're actually selling it or they're donating it. This one I know can sell for about 50 bucks. I forget who is a dance. I don't remember who it is, but look how much they want for it. I've been waiting for it to go on sale and it's not. I like this. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. What can you put in there? Cake, a little bunt, a little bunt cake. And this is real pretty. Oh, let's see if it's marked. No. I always run into my friend Kim. She's on Instagram and she's also on whatnot. Um, but she sells on Instagram a lot. It's uh her screen name is Can't Talk I'm Thrifting. <laughs> and I see her here all the time. All right, I'm trying to move along with um some peeps. There's some peeps. All right. Let's see. And now that I'm laid off of my main job, I figured I have three days out of a week I can thrift live, so I can take you guys to other places. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a pretty satin. Um, twelve ninety nine. Would that be worth it? And I can't look at my phone, but if there's no chips or cracks, I like that for my own home. That blue really gets me. Also, something I can bring to a vintage market. No chips or cracks. I don't see any, so for $12.99. I'm going to pick that up for either my own collection or bringing to the market. I like it. I also picked up that purse. If anyone's interested in that. Um, what is that down there? You see it? You see it? Let, let's see how this is made. Well, that's real pretty. You hang it. Oh, that's really nice. Put a candle in the middle and you hang it. What do they want for that? Three ninety nine. All right. Um. So we go to the Rust Market every third Saturday of every month, from nine to two p.m. 
uh, Kelsey Vintage Goods uh, hosts it. And it's in Lake Park. Jesse is the owner there. He's real sweet. I really like that. That place is great. We do go live on whatnot there. And another platform. Oh, Donatello. Isn't he so nice? You know how I met him? I was at another vintage market at Trashe Vintage down the street. My friend um, Heidi owns the shop there. I don't know if you've been there. You probably have because it's right here. Yeah, yeah. Big rich money is Adam. You guys just so you know. But anyway, so he came up to me and picked up some pottery and he goes, you have really good stuff. And I was like, thanks. He goes, how would you like to join our market? So we've been going. <laughs> He's really sweet. And I love the shop and I've, I'm going to do a YouTube video in there soon. I had promised him and I'm going to do it. I just have to figure out exactly when <laughs> have you really oh well he's a sweetheart and when my dad was going through the uh, kidney transplant like the the beginning of it um i had to cancel and he just kind of you know understood that oh have you oh uh, you know what i should do that there's a, a girl but i think she left i forget her name now I was only in her show one time, but I think she was in Lake where she sells vintage clothes. But I, I saw that she sold her shop, so I don't know. My friend Liz Perez, Liz Styles, Liz Preloved, forget her whole name, but she she sells a lot of vintage clothes and comes to all the markets. We should uh, check her out too. She, she'll be at the Russ Market, so we'll sign on. Well, this is an old bank. This is an old one anyone is interested in that no stopper though but a very cool one let's see if we remove the sticker if any of the paint is kind of come off no it says charity on it but it has a chippy poo there this is nice oh, i thought it was a fancy wine glass it's not <laughs> um all right let's see what they got down here Ooh. Oh my. Did you buy you bought that store, Donatella? And liquidated it. Oh my gosh. Are oh, you a hustler? Oof. I love her. This is <laughs> you're amazing. You're like everything I want to be. I just I don't have the time. I can't wait to stop being a nurse. You guys, this is nice, but it's made to look old, these two. But I don't think they are actually old. <laughs> I want to be you. <laughs> I just want to sell vintage only. But um, even getting laid off, I, I started going full-time with the school that I teach at, the nursing school in Miami Sovereign. So I've been, I'm doing that now. Because that's an extra income. These are really neat. Please be priced well. I want to buy them. Oh, ow, I just hurt my finger. Um, Copper Craft Guild. <gasps> they're only $5 a piece. Ew, I have to clean them, but there's... Anything I put in my cart, y'all, if you want it, just let me know. I thought there was another one, yeah. Aren't these fabulous? Oh my god, awesome. I have a very extensive inventory donatella that i need to move out i've got the big house out in boca and then we've got the condo then our storage we're doing well on the website but it's slowed down and we're selling on another live platform uh, that seems to be working out but i do have a lot of inventory <laughs> but i definitely will contact you to hang we should hang i did not know you were here I don't know why I didn't know that. I come into your show all the time. Oh, I've been kind of like trying to not go on whatnot too much because I buy too much for myself. <gasps> so I collect menorahs and this would have been a really cool pickup. But it's missing one of the tops. And it felt cheap when I picked it up. Not to say a menorah is cheap. Um. <laughs> These are cute. I wish there were two of these. This is milk glass. All right. You guys see anything you like here? If not, I'm going to go move ahead. 
move on. There's some pewter candlesticks also. Um, so I went to, are you talking about the one in West Palm Beach, right? So we went there a couple times. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. To be honest, we stopped going there because we went in filming and they pretty much chased us out. Then we went there again and they remembered us, but we didn't have our phones out and they decided to harass us the minute we walked in. So we told them to go F themselves and we never went back. <laughs> Like, I refuse to be treated like that. You know, I was just trying to help them. Yeah. But we do go to Renninger's three times a year in Mount Dora. Um, and I think we're heading, we're going to drive out to Springfield in May. But, I mean, I would be willing to give it a chance, you know, again, if they didn't chase me out or harass me when I walked in. I mean, I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> They're like, we don't. You know, we don't know why you have to resell live. We don't know why you have to film everything. And I'm like, what? Oh, really? Yeah, we were told we weren't allowed to. And then we had to get permission from the upper head. So I said, well, can I talk to, you know, of course, we would love to. Can we talk to um, the manager? She goes, it's just not allowed for the privacy of the booth owners. And I'm like, you know what, woman? <laughs> I was over it. But the second time when we got chased out, I was over that. Oh my God, does anybody want this? Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. This is Sirocco, y'all, that's a good find. I would ha be happy to, uh, you know, put this in, put this in a box and send it. You know, that's cool. I might pick those up for myself, actually. Oh my God, this is priced stupidly, $5.99 and $7.99. Uh, wait, I'm gonna ask for $5.99 for both see if they'll give it to me they're really strict here with the prices those are cool though yeah it was just awful you know you turned off by like going somewhere if you treat it that way oh really yeah yeah see and i don't well, to be honest i just don't have the patience there's so many people that i can film you know and and advertise for free you know that like trash a vintage or kelsey vintage and i will i'll make a video there i promise him and i will this is nice you guys these are made in mexico they're um corachi i saw them hanging there i don't know what size that is but twenty dollars it's definitely too small for me it's like a five and a half it's just kind of hanging here okay and this is where you look for loose side candles and I have found them. I sold them all on whatnot the other night, but I sold them for $15 a piece and I had six of them. So that was cool. Is this a, a baggie with birds? Yeah. Yeah, Donatella, it's crazy. I had to, just, I had to keep my camera down before because they were just stripping on down. I mean, they get naked. There's, like, some guy that, like, will sit there and watch them. And with his wife, like, nearby. And I'm like, come on, man. I wouldn't. They're like, I, I probably wouldn't. I would just buy it. And if it doesn't fit, then I would give it away. But not everybody has the luxury of doing that. I understand that. No shame. Like, none. <laughs> That's cute, y'all. Everybody's interested in that. I'm going to go to, uh, you know, uh, Donatella, have you been to... Um, Cooper City Antique Mall. That's my favorite antique mall here. So clean, well air conditioned. This, these shelves have cute stuff. What is that exactly? Yeah. Oh, it's a moose. It took me a second. I think it's a bottle opener. Yeah. Oh, Shauna's treasure. Okay, Shauna, I was trying, I was looking through my friend list trying to figure out what was your full name so I could tag you to the show. <laughs> so here you are. I'm glad you caught it. So that you can just walk around and thrift along with us. Oh, this is bronze, you guys. That's a, is this a star fruit? Bronze star fruit. You totally did. Oh man, why do I want these for $8? They're, just, they're bronze. I don't even know what kind of fruit that is. There's nothing up here. 
There's some dog bookends. Yeah, the estates are going to be the best. I agree with that. I never catch the right ones. At least where I'm from, like, they don't have many good ones out in Fort Lauderdale. I'm looking for... Yeah, World Thrift is good for clothes, yeah. And they're also raising the prices on clothes, too, so... Hey there. Let's see. Um, just taking forever because these shelves are crazy. You got to really look. There'll be things hidden. Like, this is cool. Wow. Look at this holder. Whoa. Hope I didn't make you dizzy. Let's see how much they want for that. 30 bucks. I don't think so. That's heavy as hell, though. I think that's worth, maybe worth the pickup, but I, I don't know. Gold cat. We will look for the gold cat. Um, this is a gold, this gold cat. Yeah, super expensive. I just don't get it. This is probably wood and spray painted. This would run for only 15. If you want that. It is wood, spray painted. All right. It has a little um, thing on the top. I don't know that it's a chip. Maybe the wood had a chip, but they spray painted over it. Um, let me just take a photo of it. I'm just going to put large wood cat. Um, 15. A little heavy. It's a little heavy. Someone told me that World Thrift now has the easiest. Are you serious? Well, they don't know how to look it up properly. They're not looking for the solds. So just, uh, just so you guys know anything you buy here, I leave the stickers on them because I don't want to be responsible for any paint peeling off. So I'm going to tell you, highly suggest, Vamp, if you win this, use a hot blow dryer to peel this off. Don't just peel it off, okay? Here we go. One through, or we'll do it for, we'll do it for 20 seconds. And that's running. Yeah, and some have a list of things that they need to, they're ridiculous. And that's okay. Then people will stop buying and then they're, the, the, you know, it's not going to benefit them at all because everyone knows how much I don't like Goodwill, but I always give them a chance. Um, I like what they're for. I don't like their prices because they get all that for free. And, um, but the thing is, like these stores are becoming a little bit like Goodwill. So that's okay. I'll just end up going to garage sales. And like Donatella said, like estate sales or, um, you know, anywhere else. Like there's a lot of mom and pop places. Congratulations, Vamp. That is so yours. See any of your cats, let me know. Absolutely. Thank you. There is this. I've been eyeing it. <laughs> There's so much vintage to go around. You could travel the whole country. You guys, I want this so bad, but I'm not going to pay $35 for it. It's a ridiculous amount. That's not even like antique. That's not even antique mall prices. That's a lot. Made in Taiwan. That's cool. I think it's technically a candle holder. You could put a candle in it. Wow, that's really cute. But that would run for nine if anybody wants that. It totally is. Brass is back. I watch um, a fellow YouTuber and friend. She's sweet. We're slowly becoming friends on YouTube, like through Instagram and all that, and go back and forth uh, talking about our videos. But uh, it's Lady Mary Beth. If you guys want to be informed on things, like she's like, she's kind of like Dr. Lori. Really cool. Black Avon cat. Lady Mary Beth. She's out in Texas. Six. Um, I'd run that for 12 if you want it. Super cute. No issues with it. Yeah. Just going to pack it for you. Okay. Sorry. Do you want me to run it, um, Bam? Okay, let me just take a picture. Um, Adam's going to go and take a 
You gonna get a coffee? Okay. I was gonna stop at Starbucks Cafe after. Oh, yeah, are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cafe con leche, though they have Cuban oh, coffee over there. Good, right? Donatello's just down the street. Oh, yeah. yeah. We should go to estate sales together. I'm a lot of fun. Just ask Captain Captain Earth Flipper. <laughs> we go we go thrifting. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. I'm not gonna put a high uh, shipping on this. Yeah. Sounds good. They don't have the statue anymore, yeah. Only oh, you guys follow Donatella and also follow Strong Roots Vintage. That is Ashley. She's also my friend. America, yeah, all the time. I think so. That is running for twelve for twenty seconds. I think the prices are better. The one that we we don't like with the prices uh, for American Thrift. Where is that, Adam? Let's see. I think it's in um, Lauder Hill. Yeah, Lauder Hill. That one's ridiculous. But if you look between, they can't figure everything out. There's there's treasures there. Thank you, Vamp. This is a cool find. There's a little, um, I think it's paint loss. I don't think it's an actual chip. That is coming to you, friend. I'm going to put that here in my Michael Aram boat. Yeah, Kat is a sweetheart. And she is smart. <laughs> like, she'll be, like, thrifting with her and she'll be like, oh, that's that's a value and that's a value. Um, this one is a little resin cat, but he is really sweet. I'll run that for only four dollars if you're interested in that. I did actually look. It's a, it's a boat, a gravy boat. I've never seen one. Oh, Vicky's here. I mean, Vicky. Oh God, Jen's here. My sunroom chair. Please follow her too. Uh, yeah. So I found that cat. Here's a shamrock. That would run for only nine. Go ahead and go get the coffee, Adam. It's okay. Go ahead. You'll just have another coffee after. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss. Yeah. I hope I didn't miss anyone in the chat. Oh, man. You're big guns. That is so cool, Donatella. I love that. Oh, my God, you guys. If you want me to ship this, I guess I will. But it's broken. <laughs> this is so awesome. Is this an Italian tile? I think so. Look how beautifully made this is. Yeah. Sinterizzato. I am Italian, so I'm going to pronounce things the right way. Look at this one. I am digging that. Made in Italy. Those tiles are awesome, you guys. Yeah, very pretty. I'm wondering if I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I don't know if I'm going to sell them. Si, parlo italiano. Mia mamma era carab calabrese, però... Non parlo troppo bene. I try. <laughs> I try to speak. My my mom was really trying to teach me. Uh, I speak okay, but oh, you! I think I knew that. I think I knew that. That's something you and I have in common. I think I had. And then she was, "I'm Italian too." <laughs> One time, you were saying it. What part of Italy? My mom's from Calabria. Was she passed now. You guys, that's a totem pole. That's a good pickup. That's eight dollars, though. I'd have to look that up to see if that's worth much. So you speak Italian, also? I hope so. I think so. If you were born there, you definitely do. Wait, I'm trying to get through here, but sorry, ma'am. Can I just go right behind you to look at the crucifixes? Thank you. There's this. This is the Jesus I wanted to see, you guys. Look how nice that is. It's like he got breast implants, though. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody want this? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm going to go forward. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. I'm just stuck. <laughs> if I get out of your way this way, you guys can get through, right? No. Oh, here. You can go where I was. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Italian's your It's so hard, right? I know. Italian's my friend. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Uh, I would say probably French. I speak French because I was born in Quebec. Like English is my first language, but um, my mother tried to teach me the proper way of speaking Italian. It's just I learned the Italian di dialect. I don't know if anybody wants this. I just don't like the way they made his, his tits. And I find it kind of disrespectful for Jesus. 
I will leave him there. If anybody wants it, though, let me know. I'll, I'll come back for it. This is... Oh, and I always mention this. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mentioned this on the videos on our YouTube. Don't forget to look at all of the frames. Some frames have sold for me for about $100. This one's made in China, but it is pretty. But you don't want to... Oh, my God. Is that a Lucite tray? It's a Lucite handle. Oh, it's Pottery Barn. Oh, my God. That sounds so romantic, even just saying where you're born. <laughs> $40 for that tray, you guys. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. That is so beautiful. Donatella, I feel closer to you now. There's something about Italians that I love so much. She's always so sweet. Warm and kind. It's just, it's different. We're different. We're different people. My dad is from Trinidad, so I have that in me also. We need to meet. I agree. Totally. I'm here all the time. We can have lunch or dinner or something. We should go to antique malls together or um, estate sales. <laughs> I'll send you my my number. Let me just screenshot. Yeah. This is pretty, you guys, but it's Kohl's. And I know some of you want me to go through the arts, so I will. Nothing here. I sell a lot of mid-century, so I'm always looking for that kind of co those colors, like the brown, the orange, the yellows, the greens. Like, um, if you want to learn about the decor at the time, you might want to check out um, that 70s show. There's some fresh carts over here. Just want to see if there's anything on there that... There's a large Peanuts Charlie Brown cup. <laughs> it's like really large. Nothing on the fresh carts. I do. It started out like a hobby. And then it's like one sale led to two sales. And it let, you know, people coming from our, our YouTube channel. Um, I sell better on another platform that's live and it starts with an N. <laughs> Um, but one not is fun because I have this following here, a little bit of a following, you know, especially my night crew, a little bit of a following and they're all precious. So I, I make sure I continue doing whatnot, but, um, but I sell on my website, Jolie Flips Vintage and I sell everywhere, eBay. Oh, I can't say the words, but like all the other platforms. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We're stuck again. Oh, can you get through? You're welcome. Yes, this is kind of cool. It's different. It's resin, but isn't that kind of neat? Hmm. I don't know if I should get that. It's only two dollars. Is it supposed to be the Green Man? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, it's hot. It's hot as balls in here. You hear? <laughs> I have the explicit content on, but not on YouTube. So I really should watch my mouth. <laughs> this is old wood. I think we're streaming. Oh, God. You know what, Donatello? What I'm looking for, it, I can't find anymore. It's like the Florentine stuff. People are buying it up like crazy. <laughs> this is kind of Florentine. This reminds me of it. Hmm. Pretty. Very nice. I'm very picky of the things that I pick up. So, and if things don't sell within a month, I either gift them away or I try to make bulk uh, bulk or I'd redonate because I don't know I don't really get attached too much uh oh yeah <laughs> I don't need to I have to I was like keeping a lot of stuff and then look at this does anybody want that um vamp oh I'm sorry yeah 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 okay um yeah, I don't know if Vamp is still here. Let me still tag her. Vamp. She said if you saw any cats. I don't remember. Was it Vamp Diva? Let me go up. Let's see. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, Vamp Diva. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in there. Maybe she wants that. I'll run that for six if she does. 
Let's just see. Hey, Vamp, did you want this? I could put it back, but I wasn't sure if you wanted it. It is resin, but I thought it was a unique frame. Six. Let's make sure the backing works good. It sure does. All right, I'll take a picture. Reminds me of my Jinxie cat who passed away. He was all black. He was so cute. He was such a little pervert. Like, if you were dressing, he would just stand there. <laughs> cat frame. Just sat there and stared at me. I don't know what his problem was. <laughs> I love cats. This <laughs> is true. And we'll run this awesome cat frame. Very unique. For $6 for 20 seconds. I'm digging it. Yeah, please do. <laughs> A little bit of um, paint wear up here. But not significant. How adorable. Oh, I'm seeing a vintage um, framed picture here. Thanks, Vamp. That's coming to you with your little cat bundle. Look at this. That's gorgeous. I think it's a picture. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a picture. All right. So I want to show you. Let's just quickly glance at the plates. Does anybody want plates? If you do, I can really look in detail. But if not, I off the top don't see anything crazy. Oh, Lucy. Oh, hey. Did you get my message? Lucy bought a bag for me, and there was a stuck zipper. <laughs> that thing went from $12 to $100. And God bless her. She got – did you get it? You got it, yes. And um, I took the – I the zipper was stuck. I got it out. Yes. Kim Debra. The Christmas thing I'm looking at right now is this. This is awesome. This is pressed glass, and it's a napkin holder. I thought that was really pretty. It's a little pricey, though. I'd run that for $15 if you're interested. There's a lot of Christmas stuff out right now. I don't understand why they're doing it, but, like, the other day I was thrifting, and um, I realized that subliminally they're trying to tell us to buy Christmas. Like, this is really beautiful. I wonder if they're measuring cups. That's nice. I would run that for 15 also. No crazing. That's in perfect condition. Okay, let's see what else they've got. I'm going to keep going. Some Christmas stuff down there. See the corner? Uh, once I get there, I'll be able to show you, like, the wreaths and stuff. Yeah, right down there, that, that row, yeah. I'm going to head over there. What is this? Is nice. I like all the tropical stuff. Anybody into Lennox? I'm not, so I usually walk right past it. But if you like any, I will show you in detail these pieces. This one's a Christmas Lennox. This would run for 50 and they want six. It's a little snowman votive candle holder. Here's a nappy dish. Ten. Whew, that would run for 25 it's too much it's too much for that personally i would just i would put the lennox for so cheap look at the spoon rest is that mud pie no but it's jaliska which is a really great brand um i'm going to soon make a video on secret designers that sell well michael aram is not a secret to resellers but to newbies, it would be. It can be. This is another one of those. Jaliska. Their stuff sells like crazy. So that's a good pickup. We'll pick that up. I sold cups for like 100 bucks, Like four cups and four saucers. I got for a dollar each here. So definitely pick up Jaliska. Um, J-A-L-I-S-K-I. Look at these fan dishes, you guys. Made in China. Oh, it's worn there in the middle. Royal Satsuma. They're pretty, but I don't know how much they're worth. They don't think much. La Dolce Vita. Don't know that brand. I don't know it. And then, like, quality, when you pick it up, you start to feel quality when you're thrifting all the time. This is a gorgeous plate. Italy, maybe? I don't know. 
But wow, would that look good on a wall? Yes. A sweet life. Which is what reselling is. I love this community so much. You guys have no idea. To the point where I no longer want to be a nurse ever again. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I, I like teaching it, so I'll stick with that. I think I like this plate. I'm holding it for long enough, so I must love it. I'm going to put it on my wall. I'm creating a wall full of plates. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of someone's way. Sorry. Um, there's another plate I see that I really like. I don't know how old it is, but there's four of them. Wow, $10 a piece. But look at that pattern. Oh, it's Spode. See, they must have looked up Spode and thought, yep. Let's price them at $10, but not all Spold sells that high. But yeah, right? That's how I feel too, Ashley. We're going to be friends forever. And kind of like nursing, because I do have friends from when I started being a nurse and then when I was in school. Um, it's just one of those things. This is a chip bowl. I would ship that if anybody is looking for one of those. The wood rooster. No, I put him in my car because he was cute, but um, I can do him for, I can do him for 10 if you're interested. He's very lightweight. He is missing one of, I could do this one for eight for you, um, Ashley, because he's missing one of his little spikes in the back. But what I would do is rip off the other one because <laughs> he doesn't really need it. It really doesn't. If you want that, I could sell. I could sell that to you. I, I saw something here. Where's it? Oh, look at these. These are cool. Made in China. I don't know who makes them, but they're they're um, really beautiful. Did she pick it up? Oh, no, this is what I saw. I was like, oh, my God, did that lady take it? This redware, I think. Ovenware. T-H-O-A. That's just so cool. I love when there's like a thin glaze over it and then you see the actual clay underneath that's why i like that brand mud pie they do that quite often the, i have the poodle also if anyone's interested in that one um and i see some shell plates shells are making a comeback got lots of that here in florida american atelier cool is that a cow plate in the back black it's a moose still cool as a Canadian, I respect it. <laughs> I would run that for 12. Woodland Collection. Pretty cool. Darn cool. We're going to get to the, I promise we're going to get to the Christmas stuff. I'm just trying to get through. You're welcome, Kim. Look at this plate, you guys. Oh, wait, wait. There's like a big salt glaze over here. Is it salt glaze? No. It is not. And what is this? You know, oh, this is William Sonoma. Okay. You know where you can find a lot of um, fire and light here? Donatella, I found a lot. I know this is exciting, but you guys, they don't glow. <laughs> Hi, Kentucky Mom. You guys, please follow Kentucky Mom Vintage also. She's got great stuff. If you like my stuff, if you like Donatella's stuff, if you like Ashley's stuff, Ashley's with Strong Roots Vintage, you're going to like her stuff. You, you sell on any 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 shows, you guys, please just let everyone know when your shows are. If I ever have like 5,000 people in here, <laughs> I really don't care if you tell people where your shows are, when they are, when they are, where they are. Just say it. <laughs> Anytime. This is really nice. Because guess what? I like to shop too. <laughs> I like to shop too. I don't have kids, so my money just recycles. I'm being a little careful right now because of the layoff, but um, it'll be okay. I believe in my business, and I believe it, it, it will take off in due time. This is really beautiful. Um, this is not flash colored. It's pretty. I don't know if anybody wants that. A little flea bite at the top top but not not much thanks shauna <laughs> i have to be fierce about it right because it's like people will try to bring you down in life corporate will always try to bring you down 
um, I worked for a dialysis company. I'm streaming on YouTube and they follow me, so I don't want to like say too much, but um, they didn't really lay me off. They basically told me that my performance was low after getting a raise just like less than a, a six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> and they just one day, Monday morning, just told me I was gone. And I was there for almost three years. Yes, please follow my sunroom chair. Did I not mention? Oh, Jen, please follow, follow her. She has got great stuff also. Yeah, it's really bad, Donatella. And I told myself, I remember the day that they, I didn't even let them finish talking. I just shut the computer and I closed my eyes and I said, and now I'm done with corporate. <laughs> now I'm done. These are beautiful. These might actually glow. Like with cadmium. Wow, those are gorgeous. There's a whole set for $4 a plate. These two are gorgeous, but four dollars a plate. They must think that they actually glow, but they don't. Checked it. I got really excited one day. All right, so let's head over to the. Oh wow, that's cool. That's carpet art. That reminds me of Elvis's house. There's like carpet walls and every <laughs> carpet walls. All right, we are going to the Christmas. Sorry. I'll show you every baggie. So these are American greeting cards. There's envelopes in them. Some utensils. These don't belong here. Some ornaments that are not too exciting. And what's that? A John Deere ornament. Twin pack ornament hangers. These ain't worth nothing. I had to donate all of mine back to Goodwill. But if you like them. <laughs> I think so, Shonda. I feel most comfortable here with you guys. I, I like being a nurse. I still teach it. You need your license to teach nursing, so it's not like I'm not utilizing it. In fact, I'm utilizing my master's degree, which I wasn't using at the other job. So, you know, I'm paying my loans off. Might as well use it. The other job was like 100000 a year. So then I went from that to nothing. So I'm going to try to apply for unemployment, but I don't know. They said so many things about me, about my performance. I'm not sure. I don't think performance matters when it comes to unemployment, but I don't know what they would hold against me. So we'll see if I don't get it. I don't get it. We own property. So I have a little bit of income there, but I don't know. That's how life is, but I'm going to show them that I can do it. <laughs> I need in last this week, and sales in 48 hours, I made a little over 4K. So I can do this. And that's why I have the YouTube channel to like show people what I'm doing. Because I get a lot of questions on like, how do you know what to flip this and that? And it's like, well, watch the videos. That's how I learned. I was watching Kat, the nurse flipper. I was watching Crazy Lamp Lady. Um, she's one of my faves. And then there's uh, Laura Caldwell, which we're going to France with in September. Thank you. And that's just selling on every platform combined. And then local offer up Facebook Marketplace. I'd be happy to drop off furniture to your house. I'm like, hey, I'll come and bring it to your house if it's worth it. That's a nice one. Um, Sunny Las Vegas. Love him. Thrifting Vegas. Lady Mary Beth, Dr. Lori. I just watch these people all the time and I thought, well, I do this. I was doing it already before. Like, let me do a YouTube video. They inspired me. And they're all so nice. And I thought, I want to be part of that community. We got about 7,000 subscribers. I'm very proud of them. They're all very sweet. Proud of myself. They make me feel happy when I'm sad. This is, you guys, check this out. Like, you guys all make me happy when I'm sad. <laughs> I think this is $25 because it might be real silver. Thank you, Donatella. This is so sweet. I was like, I am not letting corporate do this to me. <laughs> this is all silver. It's awesome. I'm going to put that back and I'm going to look at the Santa on the floor with the wreaths. Sorry, I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Sorry, ma'am. I'm just going to get right behind you. All right. 
You said Santa's here. Uh, oh, thanks, Donatello. <laughs> Don't feel bad for me. You're so sweet. Just being in here makes me so happy. I discovered that you're a cool person that lives down the street. Like, I know you were cool. I've been watching your shows, but I had no idea you're right here. I think that the universe brings people together. The one to the left, this one? Thank you so much. So sweet. This guy or the penguin? Yeah, him. He's six. He would run for 18. I have to get a good box for him. And he's metal. And he's got these candles inside that I think are battery operated. And uh, that look really cool. Just 18. <laughs> it definitely brings people together because, like, if I didn't do this live today, how would I know that you were just down the street if I'm not in your lives like every second? You're welcome, Kim. He's pretty lightweight, too, so shipping. Shipping would not be bad. Not be bad. I guess I could do 15 because that would be doubling and adding a couple of, you know, if you really want it, I can run it for 15. I do have a box for it. I'm sorry, I'll let you through first, ma'am. Go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> That's about it. The tree. Probably this one. Oh, she looks like it's missing some. <laughs> it looked like my Christmas tree last year. It, it was mine was from Walmart, so it didn't have a lot of leaves. But this one's five. Um, this one would run for twelve. Well, well, I have to find a box for it. So I, probably I'll say like 15 because I'll have to go and find one because I go to the grocery stores. <laughs> yeah, I would do 15 on the tree. Uh, if you want to combine these two. Is that the tree you're looking at, Kim? Wow, it's hot in here. And I'm wearing the mask because my dad had a transplant. And I'm trying to avoid getting the common cold, the flu, COVID, all of it. Oh, thanks so much, Jen. Thank you for coming. You're right. This is work <laughs> for me too. And you have a great you have a great day at work. Um, yeah, let me know, Kim, if you want those. I will run them. All right. There's some special things here. Um, bridge, bridge. Oh, don't worry about it. I can come back to it. Nobody is shopping for Christmas like us. I buy Christmas all year round. I don't think they're going to take it. This is real neat. This is Israeli. Oh, thank you so much, Sean. So I'll send you mine as well. It's so nice to talk to you in here. I'm so happy you're right here. I love this area. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a blast. Thank you for coming. Look at this, you guys. I mean... I think I looked it up online and it was worth like 30 bucks. Still here because no one wants to pick it up for that price. But it's just cool to admire it. <laughs> if anyone wants it, I could do 30 on it. Which is decent. Ice bucket. Here's some. I'm just moving out of the way for a second. I want to show you the canisters, but I'm being pushed away. <laughs> is this a fairy lamp? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Oh, old time pottery. Six ninety nine. They want five ninety nine. Mm. Four ninety nine. This is really nice. I wonder if the one behind it is Italian. USA pottery. Um, and these. This looks like old wood. No, it's pure one though. Fools me every time. Gets me every time. All right, I want to look here, and then we'll just go to the linens, and then we'll call it. Look how pretty that framed art is. The beach scene. All right, let's see if for any brass here. Um, no, I can go over there too. I'm just it's so hard to get through. I can't even explain it. All right, let's just do this. Sorry, ma'am. Thank you. <sighs> okay. These are cool. These are only $1.99. They ha one has a dried stopper in it. It has a little chip, though. 
I can run that for five if anyone likes those, but there is a chip on it. Um, that's it. Let's look at the trivets and then we'll go over to the linens and the purses. Oh, look. So cool. I thought it was the kind of like a Lazy Susan deal. There's a chip there. Teak wood. I love teak. It's waterproof. That was very popular in the 60s. Butterfly trivet. All right. What about here? Oh, look at these. Those are pretty. Made in Turkey. Oh, man. These are really pretty. Hmm. Do I need trivets? I mean, coasters. These are fused glass. Does anybody want any of these? There's lucite ones here. They're a little yellow, but they are lucite. Little issues with bubbling at the bottom. Four. It would run for ten. All right, let's go over to the linens. Uh, I just want to see this plate real quick. Never mind, I do not. When upon closer inspection, not that great. All right, let's see if we can get through now. All right, hold on to your chair handles because it's going to be a bumpy ride. The floor is very uneven here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I know when I'm watching whatnot, a lot of times I get dizzy because I have vertigo. <laughs> but. We're going to head over to the linens and the purses. Oh, welcome in Department of Lauren Affairs. If there's any small lamps, sorry, ma'am, I would actually send them if they're small lamps. Where's Adam? I need help navigating the cart. All right. Small lamps. Kind of cute with a little kid. I guess it's missing something. Um, excuse me. Holy crap, I thought this was celluloid. Wait a minute. There's no price on it. It's really old though. Let's see if this works. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. This will definitely set your entire house on fire. You would need to rewire it, but I mean, that's a cool. I'd have to find out how much it costs. No price on it. <laughs> Set your entire house on fire and it'll be my fault. <laughs> all right. They put all the lamps down here now, which is great because I saw someone trying to take a lamp off the top shelf in the back of me and it almost fell on her head. glass. $12.99. All right. So let's, the purses are, the linens are over here and the purses are straight ahead. So we'll do the purses first. I was going to take you guys to the bins one day and then I thought, oh my God, that would be such a disaster. <laughs> They're really mean at the bins out here. Like they yell at you and stuff. You can't wear flip flops. Oh, that's okay. They walk like they drive. They don't look both ways. I'm talking about people in general out in Florida. All right. There's, there's really not much there. Um, unless you like the purple one. These are all cheap and they're all kind of broken. Um, there's a lot of purses on the walls, so I'm going to go there. So sorry. Thanks, guys. Uh, let me just get past him. These are more like wristlets and wallets. Here's some purses. So basically, if you see any that look interesting, just tell me to stop and I'll show it to you. These are all black, so I know they probably all look the same right now because it's on video. If I see anything good, what's this one? 
It's that material I don't like. It's like that fake soft leathery feeling. That's rough and hurts your fingers. <laughs> I gotta get my nails done. Mm -mm -mm. Gold bags are popular right now. And also, if you're looking for specific types of bags or colors, let me know and I'll be, I'll look while I'm navigating. Like, this is cute. That Chanel kind of style lacquered. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, that's like plastic or some rubber. I like that. I like the tan colors. To fringe, Isn't it Kate Spade or something. No. I think what I'm going to do is grab the cart this way. That would be easier for me instead of trying to push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Look at those fake Gucci, fake also. Not Gucci. It's fake uh, Prada because it's got the sign. Like Prada. Well, that's nice. Oh. I don't think it's anything like special though, but no. It's nice though. Hmm. This too is nice. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Fake Louis Vuitton. There's a tool leather. Can I get the tan bag right behind you, ma'am? Thank you so much. The sack. Yeah, that's a good brand. Oh, sorry. You want to get through? <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry, ma'am. Can we get through? Thank I'm you. So, no, you're fine. Thank you. All right. Um, this is really nice. See, this is kind of like my style. The kind of um, southwestern or animal print. This might be leather. I don't know. It looks kind of cheap, but it's cute. The burnt orange. Oh, look at this. Very intricate peacock bag. Wow, that's cool. Looks like it's brand new, too. $12.99. I'd run that for... I'd run that for $30. If anyone's interested in that. Here's tool leather. Right here. That's really nice. $19.99. <laughs> I'd run this one for 45. I think this is real leather. Gorgeous. You know what? I like this. This might be hand tooled too. Let's go ahead and grab this bag. I think I can resell that for maybe like 80, 70 or 80 on the right platform. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. Here's cool. This is cool too. That feels like oh sorry ma'am that feels like a throw <laughs> all right here's some of these that's a cool bag um, here's one with hearts it's cute eight I think I would just run for 15 anybody likes that I don't think that's Anything super duper special? It's a lot of Vera Bradley, so if you're into that, let me know. <laughs> There's like so much Vera Bradley in Florida. This is a makeup bag. Somebody might like this, but it is 15, so this would run for 30. It's a makeup bag slash hanger. That Tiffany blue color. Like, you know, you can hang it. I run that for 30. Pretty good condition, almost looks new. Um, yeah, here's a little backpack. I don't know why it's 
Yeah, it's a small one. I'd run that for 30 also. Yeah, Shauna, he saw totality and he was so excited. Um, I'm glad I didn't go though because he and his friends kind of stayed in the car. They slept in the car because everything was super expensive there because he was he went to Vermont and he said that the hotels were so expensive. And I was like, no doubt everybody was staying. Can you show the heart bag? Yeah, it was the black and white one that I saw before. Yeah. Of her new Brunswick. Oh, I bet you did. Oh, my God. I have to tell him that. I don't know if he's in here. Because he was. <laughs> Where's the black and white bag? It's just there. Oh, here. Oh, my God. I wish I had seen it. Well, for me, it was like half of the street was dark, half was light. This is it. This is the one I think I said just 15, right? Yeah, this is just like a simple bag inside and you just close it with these strings and it has these really comfortable straps. Shoulder bag. It looks like polyester to me, but I could be wrong. It's kind of cool. It's very lightweight. There's a very, very, very slight stain right above that heart. Um, not bad. If you want me to run it, I can. Yeah, you're very welcome. You're welcome, Lucy. Can't wait for you to get your bag in the mail. So cool. Oh, wait, is that vintage? I don't know. I just like the surfer colors. Let's see. This would be a great bag for the beach. If you guys are um, following me on YouTube, and if you're watching from YouTube right now, um, I promised you guys a shelling, thrifting the beach <laughs> video, and that's coming soon. That's Joe Boxer. It's not Walmart or Kmart. Yeah, I can't wait for you to get it too. I was so happy, like victory, when I was able to get that, the, the zipper loose. I like these kind of bags. Yeah, so that shelling video is coming soon, you guys. This is Ecuador. <laughs> yeah. I was nervous about that. I was like, maybe that's why it was still on the racks. And probably that's why, because people are just not willing to try. Just, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much. They're not willing to take out the, the zipper. All right, so let's go to linens. That was the bags. Not the best selection, but we work with what we got. Um, trying to figure out another thrift store to take you guys. Um, not today. <laughs> I'm so tired. But um, sorry. I apologize. Thank you so much. Maybe soon. Candle holders, gold tone. Any gold tone candle holders? We can go back real quick. Um, we're in the linen, so let's finish up the linens and then I'll go to the candle holders. There's scarves if you guys are interested. These are mostly all curtains and little baby blankets. Thanks, Lucy. There's a lot of these knitted things. It's really cute. Is that bittersweet blankies? This one's really cute. What is that? Well, let me make sure I keep my cart with me. Um, wait a minute. This has like a lighthouse and stuff on it. Oh, wait, this is cute. I don't know what AG is, though. I don't know. What's AG? Let me see. Bobble bar. So that's Target. Target sells bobble bar. These are baby blankets. They have blankets, blankets. We can go look. Yeah, that's where I'm going right now. Okay. I found some really cool mid-century stuff the other day here. I was like thrilled. So thrilled. You know, like these kind of colors really get me. I love it. Wow. I want a dress that looks like that. It's color. All right. Yeah. yeah. That real MCM 70s green. I'm in the wrong era. I've loved vintage since I was a kid. 
like all the stuff my mom had, like Lucite candles. So I used to run around the house with them, put them in my mouth. Probably not the safest thing. Maybe my mom should have been paying attention a little more. Okay, I'm trying to get through here, but <laughs> yeah. But they're, they're, they're folding stuff. I'll let them fold out because people just take them off the rack and then they just throw them. Yeah, <laughs> they work here. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> um, This is a cool blanket. I wonder how old this is. Oh, no, not that old. It's owls. <laughs> Ashley, you're so funny. Ah, oh, that's a cool thing. That's probably newer, though. But, you know, I love those kind of hanger stuff. And then there's that one, too. Back there. All right. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. Okay. There's some blankets over there by those. Oops. Phone is dying. I should probably plug in soon. Let's see. How much time do we have? 20%. We're good. I usually go till my phone dies. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was walking, but that's okay. I must be a ghost. All right, there is a blanket I want to see over there. Let me grab it. You see it? Oh my God. Mid century. Holy shnikes. Holy hell. Man, I love those colors. Wow. Six bucks. Hell yes. Adam doesn't like when I pick up linen because we're both allergic to dust, but I mean, I'm not going to pass on that. Yeah, those colors get me. I think so. Let's see what else they got. Well, that's a nice one too, but I think that's small. Chevron pattern is one of my favorite patterns ever in the flame point. I like flame point too. All right, let's get past these people because I might see something else. And then we'll go back to the candle holders um, or the napkins and stuff like that. This is what I saw. Look at this. Is this mid-century? Gosh, let's take it down and look at it. Sorry. <laughs> Trying so hard. Where is I need, I need Adam so bad. Okay, hold on, guys. Yeah, it is really pretty. But what is it? Why is there a hole? Is it for like outside for the patio? Or do you wear it? You might have to wear this, the poncho. All right. Poncho pickup. $5.99. Oh, that lady's getting just as annoyed as I am. She's like, excuse me. Pop. It's probably for Easter. Put it back on there. All right, poncho pickup. Look at all these beautiful mid-century colors in the cart. I'm like, this is to die for. All right, I'm looking at this. I'm kind of attracted to this because I like the movies quite a bit, but it's 40 bucks. And I feel like I can probably buy that on Amazon for 20. Oh my God, stop, stop. Oh my God. I got to stop freaking out because I just saw something else. Oh my god. You guys, that's all wood. That's mid-century and shh, you can't tell them. They don't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, it's four dollars. <laughs> oh my. Look at the double tones. Is it? Yeah, it's cocoa wood. It's cocoa wood. Because cocoa wood feels like plastic. See, what's that joy? The uh, the hop? Oh, it doesn't say hop. Sorry. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay, did you see how excited I got for this, right? That's crazy. Too crazy. All right. <laughs> Calm down, Sam. Just talk to myself like that. I go crazy for wood and brass. You saw that, right, Lucy? You saw that girl. Now, I know it's four bucks, and I can't sell that for triple. I mean, I, I got value that. <laughs> if anyone's interested in that, I don't know yet. I can bring it to the show, but I have to. That's a double tone. 
Um, sometimes I think a lot of people would walk right past this, but it's cocoa wood. So that is probably from Hawaii. Tiny table. Let me go back there. Is it tiny enough to ship? <laughs> Let me see. To do, do tiny table. This? Oh yeah, that's like twenty bucks. I don't know how to put that in a box. It's not that tiny though. It's like an end size end table. I I don't think I could. I can't ship that, Lucy. But if you're local, I can buy it and you can pick up. <laughs> Sorry. Let me see. Oh yeah, and that's a little not heavy, but it does look bomb based style. Let's see if it is. And I got to tell you, it feels like, um, you know, like a city furniture piece. Definitely not vintage. If it is, it's probably 90s. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you really wanted me to ship it, if it fits in a big box that I could buy, I would. There's a brutalist piece here that I'm looking at, though. You see it, right? You'll see it. You got to look up, down, all around. Small art. Sure. Um, this is cool. Um, that's way cool. Uh, I like this. I'm gonna wait till Adam comes around to look up the comps on that. Whew. Hot. Small art. All right, let's see if they have any. We kind of looked at the small art and didn't see much, um, Chrissy, but I'll go back to it. There's some here. Not super small, though. These are kind of large. Wait, uh, um, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, but I'm afraid to put it in my cart, and I'm not sure how much I like it. I don't know how old that is. I think it's made to look old. And I want to be a true vintage sailor. Oh, my God. Is this Nordic, Nordic wear? Sure is. The castle ones sell pretty well for me. How much do they want for it? There's no price. The table? Well, it was 20 for me to find a box and ship it at least 60 At least. Because I usually don't... I don't even know if we're, we have that kind of pounds to, to be able to sell that on, on uh, whatnot. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lucy. And just so you know, it was very chipped on the side. So I don't know that you're missing much. Bigger items are harder for me to sell them. You guys, this is Wedgwood. It's five. This would run for 15 if anyone is interested. It's the Sage. I think somebody would want this. I don't know if anything is chipped on it. It doesn't look like it. But that's a good deal on that. Hi, sweetheart. Does anybody want that? Then we'll pick that up. Do you think we'd be able to sell a table? Yeah, it would be hard, right? Because we don't have the boxes. The other table with the brown accent. Oh, the other one? Oof. That one was... Oh, the price of that, I think it was... Was it $19.99? Um, I don't know, but it was really heavy. Your shipping is going to be like... Your shipping alone is going to be like 50 bucks. Sorry, Lucy. Where are you located? I want to pick you up so you can come thrifting with me. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, can you check the, um, well, the movie reel one is probably not worth much. It looks very cheap. Um, likely it's not worth, like, there's a movie reel table over there if you want to look at it by the lamps. It, you'll see it. It's black and it has, like, a movie reel. You want to check that for me on Google? Okay. He's going to go check it. New Mexico, I'd be ready. Oh, Oh, you are not far away. Oh, my God. I love Roswell. I love your little airport out there. It's, like, so small. <laughs> we came there to chase the uh, aliens one time. And then the guy told me, did I hear Elvis? Because I was talking about Elvis. He goes, we have an abandoned Elvis plane here. And he showed it to me. I was like, what? Y'all come out there. Absolutely. We're not doing anything. I'm jobless. <laughs> well, not really. This is, like, my job. If you guys see anything that I'm putting down here, let me know. I'm trying to get my Mophie so I can plug in my phone. Yeah, we Adam wants to chase the um, 
He was, I wasn't with him. I didn't know him when I first came out there for the aliens. I love how everyone really believes in aliens in Roswell. Then we went to the dunes. You know where that is, Lucy? The dunes? The sands? It was awesome. Yeah, it's by the end of the mountain gods. Like, sorry guys, let me just grab my charter. Look at all the receipts from thrifting. <laughs> oh, it's like a for thrifting. All right, let me find the actual Mophie. Oh my God, yes. Oh my goodness. They have really good Mexican food in New Mexico. I mean, I remember the day that I went, I came there. I called up my friends. It was like two days before. And I was like, do you guys want to... Oh, are you? Oh, that's cool. Oh, where is this Mophie? In my purse. Ugh. Come on. It's always work. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I know I have one, and I know Adam has one in his pocket. I got to find it, or, or the phone's going to die, and I have to get out of people's way at the same time. It's a little bit of a task. Hold on. Ugh. What? I just saw it. Here it is. Yeah, um, yeah, I like Roswell. And bigger purse. Yeah, but then when I get the bigger purse, then I fill it up with more receipts. I'm going to put you guys down for a second. Sorry. We got, it was a little hard to do. And someone just sneezed on top of me. That's great. All right, now we have charge, so I'm less stressed. All right. <laughs> There's a plate that I wanted to see. And then the candle holders. I didn't forget. Oh, these are nice. <clears throat> I'm going to get my nails done. Sorry. This is one missing. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, it's uh, Certified International, which is not a good reselling thing. All right, so let's go to the candle holders as promised. Lots of season going on. Oh my God. Yes, salt glaze. Is a row pottery? Oh, it is Salmon Falls. Okay, so like two days ago, I put up a row salt glaze pottery that I picked up cream and sugar set, $2, and I sold it for $48. Like, overnight. Yeah. Hi, QP. Oh, I just love the word QP. Yeah, if anybody wants this, um, this would run for 18. <laughs> Hi, that's a really good deal because this has no chips or cracks, and it's in perfect condition. And it's 2001, so that makes it vintage. And I would be happy to send that out. Here's the small art before we get to the brass. If you're still in here. So let's see. Oh gosh, so hot in here. Uh-oh, this is a good brand. Natalina, made in Italy. It's definitely a good pickup. For $2.99, pick that up. Multi-tone. Que eso? That's a leather. Yeah, that is pretty. If you need it, I, well, I could sell it. This one is silk embroidery. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder how old this is. Do I like it? Do I like it? If you guys watch Lavender Clothesline, Karen, <laughs> she's really cute. She says, do I like a good frame? Yes, I do. Yes, we do. That's how she talks. She goes, do I love a good Goodwill? Yes, we do. You guys know, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. They just must have put this out. Does anybody want this? Uh, I can run this for 12 Only 12 That is really cool. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up. Hi, BC. Softball. She said, do we like a good frame? Yes, we do. And I'm not making fun of her. I think she's adorable. That's cool. Somebody has a really rough voice. 
I don't know if anybody likes these like I do, like this kind of stuff. I have always imagined the paradise will be kind of will be a kind of library. Jorge Luis Borges. Is this like an original thing? Well, signed it. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hey, Adam. People are asking uh, 30 for the film reel table on eBay, but they're selling it for 30 here. So they are uh, asking 30 for the film reel table, but they're asking for 30 online as well. Um, I see something in her, um, her fresh cart. The person is from Washington State. Oh, the, oh, I'm sorry. The artist? Oh, that's cool. Look at this, you guys. What the hell? You want 35 for it. You want to look this up? Yeah, just, uh, oh. Just yeah. You guys see this, right? It's so cool. It's very old. I would actually, I would pay up if something was worth it. I'm going to hold on to it. And let me get, sorry, I'm getting distracted from the fresh cards coming out. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, That was a cool art piece. Um, shoot. Let me see if I can get through all these because I see something underneath, I think. First of all, I really, really quite enjoy this piece of wood here. That's a good frame. Made in Taiwan, though. I don't know, but it's nice, the colors. This is what I saw. It's an oil painting. Yes. Why is it not signed? Look at the little sheep. Made in Canada. I need the signature. It's hard to sell one without the signature. I don't know. If anybody wants that, I will... I can send that to you for um, 30 Canada price. Two. Is it a Canada price? 15 Is that what you meant? Because it's expensive? What else? Yeah, I know. I, what's that? I don't think it's worth it. 25 Oh, here's one. 346 on Etsy here. Tell me it's sold. Tell me it's sold. No. Oh wait, I think it's part of something. And they even discounted it. It's not worth the pickup. We could probably put this back on the cart. All right. Wait a minute, I see something here. 399. Is this a painting? Adam, does this look like a painting or a print to you? This is really nice. No, this is a painting. Um, what do you guys think? It's hard to tell. It's cool though. Might be a print. Wait. No, it's a painting. 60s? This one? Hmm. I might pick that up. I think it's cool. Okay, all the way at the front, there's a garbage can. That's a nice terrain to a painting. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it is a painting. And I think it's a good one, too. It's really nice. Oh, look at these people. Oh, I thought it was an actual picture of people making out. But it's like a pet cope. <laughs> oh, well, that's very personal. These are all prints. Not that I don't buy prints. It's just harder to sell. And people really at the vintage markets, they really love oil paintings. All right. Let me move out of someone's way. Oh, gosh. Some stained glass paint um, frames. 
There's a couple of them. I could bundle them. There's usually, oh my gosh, you guys. Do we love a good oil painting? Yes, we do. Oh God, if she ever hears me, I hope she thinks I'm not making fun of her. I really love Karen. <laughs> Look at this child. I don't know. I probably wouldn't have framed <laughs> so scary. There's this one again. I still can't get over. This one's really nice. <laughs> we should show Adam our future kid. Oh, we're never going to have kids because we want to sell vintage for the rest of our lives. And uh, without kids. <laughs> it's like, I love that we wake up in the morning and we're like, hey, let's go here. I love children. Don't get me wrong. I do. This is gorgeous. I think they're so funny. You should see my nephew and niece. Like, oh, hilarious. Oh, there's like a bunch of these. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a rattan picture frame. This can definitely sell, but look how damaged it is on the top. Rattan, rattan. I like this. Hand signed by the artist. Wait a minute. I like this. Is it hand signed? I don't see it. Hmm. I don't see the signature. Uh, let's look at here. Any tiki stuff? You know, I didn't see any, but I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. We're going to pass by those shelves one more time. Whoa, this is cute in a shadow box. Home is where the heart is. I think that's pottery. Somebody like that. That's fine, but it has beadwork all around it. Hmm. That's actually really cute. I feel like maybe I should. Where's the frog? It's by Gans. Gans doesn't sell too well, so if anybody wants this, I could. Um, I could do 10. 10 for that. Let's see what else we got here. These are wall, um, resin wall things. Trivet. These are all prints. All right, that's what I got for small art. Sorry, guys, I'm like kind of rushing through it <laughs> for no reason. It's not like I have anywhere to be. I do have to pack a lot. Oh, look at this. You look amazing, it says. Hello, welcome in. Hi, Gothic Witch, welcome. I do love that name. That is copper. We're also looking for tiki. We'll get to the brass candle holders very soon. It would be here. I think. Um, yes. No, they'll be down there and we'll find them. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's the turtle. Mm-hmm. That is marble. Man, that's expensive. This one's my favorite, but I can never get myself to pay that much. Yeah, Gothic, we're going to go down there soon, so you'll be able to see that. This is so beautiful. There's that brass Jesus again, but he's got brass implants, and I'm not sure that I think that's great. This peacock's cool, but not at 40. Probably made in India, too. I don't know. All right. Gosh, that is a very dignified and serious um, bunny. Don't mess with him. I feel like he would poison my food. These are cool. <laughs> oh, they're made in China, but they are cool. Oh, look, oh, I know this pottery is Hellborn, I believe. Yep, Hellborn Canadian. They just have that distinctness. And we're going to go to the teacups and saucers and candle holders, and then we'll check out, okay? You're probably tired now. Why is this bear $10? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm um, just doing another check here, making sure that we didn't miss anything. There's that cool chicken. I love when the animal, there's like a smaller animal on top of a bigger one. There's some Aquarian pieces here. 
clearly they don't some they don't recognize that some pieces are aquarium <laughs> so they put them up like they're figurines look at this lady look at this <laughs> 2006 limited edition seems like they made a lot of them though all right we're gonna go wood frame no i didn't see any i would have definitely picked up if i saw those um i do have a nelson cat hudson uh hudson river wood inlay at home can i get through please someone excuse me ma'am Ma'am, thank you so much. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, I have that at home. It's a cat, though. It's my last Nelson piece. Um, candle holders. Let's see. Here's some... Oh, here's some brass ones. This might not be brass. That looks cheap. They want a lot for it, but it, it definitely looks cheap. Oh, the prices are gone. They were like $13 or, $13 or $14. They once had a price on them. Here's the brass one. Baldwin. Now, I've, set, I've sold Baldwin candle holders before. They're not worth a whole lot, but they are nice. This one is very yellow. Too yellow for my taste, but if you like them. This one is ornate, $7.99. Likely made in India. Likely made in India. If you like any of these, I can run them. I don't know what to do. No, no glass mushrooms today. No glass owls that I saw, but there might be some in the paperweight section. And since we're heading over there anyway, so I can go to the ATM to get cash. Um, oh, look at that. That's an Art Deco. Candles. I feel like Ashley has these. Ashley, am I right? Are you in here? There's a glass and gold candle holder. There is. Glass and gold. This one. This one? No. Um, in the clear. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I saw it. In the clear. Oh, oh, oh. No glass mushrooms. Um, this one. It looks like they stuck on it. Stuck it on, uh, Lucy. Like they put it inside. But it's kind of cool. It's one of those votive candle holders you can put in the sconces they just stuck it on one of these to create like a pedestal style if you're interested in that is that the one it is dumb <laughs> but i don't want to say anything just in case you liked it i was like i don't want to judge <laughs> that's not it oh i don't see any other ones that are gold these are this is a clear section I'll scan. If you see it again, let me know, okay? Um, there's a glass angel. It was gold. The whole thing was gold. You want to help me, Adam? Look for it. The whole thing was gold. Do you know if it was bottom or top shelf? Center glass. There's this one over here. That one? Oh, this is a pottery one. No. Bottom. Maybe this one. Is this it? Oh. No? That one's resin. Um this one maybe. Right? It is glass. Um, it's very shaky, the top part. It's made in China. They want eight. Um, this would run for 18. Okay. I'm glad you saw it though. I'm glad we found it. <laughs> glass owls. 
And I think that's it. There's a ginger jar up there. But they're not as popular as they used to be. These are cool. Yeah, you're welcome. I'd be surprised. I am surprised nobody had wanted these. These are kind of cute. They're shell. And here's this one. That's an avocado colored. That is vintage. Might be anchor hawking. I don't know. But I dig that one. If anybody wants that one, I could run that one for six. Very pretty. There's some mercury glass ones here too. Mercury glass used to do well for me. All right, let's keep on a going. Um, <laughs> I just stare at him sometimes. It's so funny. <laughs> There's a longer burger pitcher. Does anybody collect longer burger? I stopped picking them up because I have so many pieces. But that's a good price. And even at um, 15 which is what I would run it for, that would still be a good price. And there's this pattern that I love, but it's so heavy. Hello, Tinosaurus. What a cool name. This is marble. Whoa, that's heavy. Whoa, that's heavy. And there's no price on it, but there's a code. I'd have to find out what it sells for. I mean, what it sells for, what they want for it. And before I move along, there's a wooden box if anybody is interested in those. I know some people do like them. I would run that for eight. Eight dollars. That's pretty. The very boho. I can come back for it. Uh, that looks like a hat, a resin hat. All right, so we're looking for owls, and then we're going to check out. Because I am spent. I am tired. It's just really hot in here, and there's a lot of people. What's that chaos coordinator? Oh, my God. Teacups. Teacups. I forgot. I'm going to go back to it. You guys, that is so me, the chaos coordinator. <laughs> like, teacups. Let's see. Here's the teacups with the saucers. They bundle them like this. You see any that you like? For doggos. Oh, we're going to get to the dogs. Franciscan. They have these kind of teacups. And the clear ones with the snack plates. I like that optic. The white and gold. This one. This one is eight for the set. Oh my God, you know what this is? Oh my God, wait. You might have just scored. These are Arabia Finland. Not these, but these are, I'm gonna pick them up because um, Arabia Finland always sells well. Uh, no, not those, these ones. These, these are white and gold. And then these ones are too. The left or right? All right, okay. This one, yeah, they want, um, there are four. They want 20, so these would run for 45. I don't know the brand. Fairfax. I don't know if you want them. I would run them. Oh, you're welcome. Y'alls are welcome. Um, There's some mugs I can... If anybody likes the mugs, this one's kind of cool. Oh, no, never mind. Something for my mama. I don't know what it says. This might be a mama row. Mama row. Let's see, I like this. Blue. Oh, this is from France. It's really nice. Hmm. I don't need any more huge pictures. All right, let's go for the owls and the dogs. Do you want to push the cart? Thanks. I'm just like really hot. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is this Michael Aram? <gasps> Man, I just have an eye for Michael Aram. I really do. It's a banana tray. Do you know how much that sells for? <laughs> you get 50 bucks for that. 
I knew it. All right, I get so excited because it's so great. Yeah, definitely. Oh, hi, Jill Mills. Wait a minute, I'm seeing something else. Here, this one. It's Portuguese, I think. I think it's Portuguese. It's my second Michael Aram I found today, Jill. All right, we're gonna, thanks, Adam. We're gonna have to try to get through here. Sorry, ma'am. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the minute I post to Michael Aram, it sells. So I'm very excited about that. I wonder if this is it too. No, it doesn't feel like it. I picked it up before. This is a cool ashtray. And what the heck is in here? Oh, look at this. There are mini teacups that are like, I don't know what pattern that is, but they're like salt sellers also. They're cool. This is a pretty abstract ashtray. All right, let's go look for doggos and owls. Oh, well, that's lucite. Here's an owl, candle holder. You want 10 for it, that would run for 25. That is very heavy and I think very good quality. Um, probably a Val St. Chalet or whatever it's called. Here's a little chickadee. Here's a dog. He's hollow. He's got a little yellow in him. This is probably Aura 4. Yep. Not all Aura 4 cells. Well, they're so cute. But that would run for 16. He's missing an ear and he's happy about it. What is that? That's just weird. Mm, it's all messed up. Okay. Um, figurines, the dogs and the owls. I hope I'm not walking too fast. There's a wolf. There's a lion. Not a dog or not an owl, but the... Um, wolf is kind of a dog. <laughs> There's a snuggles bear for some reason. I have these. I have one at home. This is Makasa. I think, it's, yeah, the garden harvest. Oh, that's a cool wall pocket. Oh, I feel a rough spot. Is it chipped? Yep. On the back. That's pretty though. So Florida. Milk glass, Delft blue, Holland, owl body. <laughs> this is nice with the squirrel on it. I don't buy baskets though, they don't sell well for me. I don't buy them unless someone requests them, a specific one. Do you see any owls or dogs? No? Uh, I have some at home, though, that I can show you guys that I can bring. I think we're good here, right? Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> Sweating. Thank you guys so much for being on with us. Uh, if you're just coming in, I'm sorry. I did last minute book it because I never know what I'm doing, to be honest. But Shauna, this is Adam, and this is me, and it's sweaty and gross. But we're going to get some cash. We're going to check out those Michael Aram um, pickups and the linens I picked up and the um, Nordic wear were good finds. Jill says hi. So anybody, is there anybody that we should raid? Let's see. Let us see. <laughs> I'm happy you did too. Oh, Michelle deals. Michelle's deals. Thanks for being here, Ashley. You're so sweet. I think we should raid Michelle. I'd love to be in there too while I'm in the line. She's so sweet. You guys give her a follow and let's show her some love. And I will see you very, very soon. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for your patience. And I know you guys have to wait sometimes till I get to the next shelf, but thank you. And let's go show her some love and I'll see you soon. Bye.